We want to get you moving. It's all part of the 1 Billion Steps Challenge here at News 8. And each week we feature a walk, a 5K, or a run that your family can take part in. And uh, this Saturday is very exciting. It's the 21st annual Stewards Ace Hardware Bluefish 5K Road Race in Clinton. That's a yes, mouthful. Yes, it huh? sure is. Joining us from the Clinton Chamber of Commerce is Director Ken Hartley and Board Member Lisa Duckus. And from Shoreline Community Woman Inc., Jessica Robson. Nice to have you all here. And this is an exciting weekend. Ken, give us all the details. Well, we have a 5K race that takes off at Jared Elliott School. It's a nice, immediate terrain race. It's a certified 5K, so many people like to run that. Mm -hmm. It is the only race in, in Clinton, mm -hmm. so there's a group called Run 169, which tries to run a race in each town, oh. and they love coming to our race. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now, do you have to wear a tropical shirt to partake or not? <laughs> Obviously, well, we right? Are, <laughs> we, like we, are, we are a shoreline summertime destination. There you go. So, as Chamber of Commerce, this is my official outfit. I love it. That's I great. It. And Jessica, who benefits from the race? Um, this is for Shoreline Community Women in the Clinton Chamber of Commerce. So the Shoreline Community Women is a group of about 30 women based right on the Shoreline, not just in Clinton. And this is the largest fundraiser for both organizations. So it goes to benefit um, scholarships that we give out and family that we adopt and um, the Clinton Soldier Box project that we ha handle. So it's Very wonderful. Nice. All right. There's still time to sign up, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. How do we do it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, until Wednesday evening, we can sign up on active.com. Okay. Or on the day of the race, you can sign up there. Most people do come to the race and sign up on the day of. Um, or you can always check it out on our website, clintonct.com. Cool. Now, if, if you're not a big runner or walker, there's also food, fun, fireworks. I mean, all the you guys have a big weekend the, the plan, festivities right? here, huh? Well, that's coming the following weekend, actually. Okay. And uh, Lisa's expert on the fireworks. So we, the fireworks in town, it's a chamber event, will be held on August 25th. Um, it's a summer fest celebrating the summer. Fireworks go off at 9 o'clock. From 4 to 8 behind Town Hall, we will have a beer and wine garden sponsored nice. by Dino Ellis by the Shore, cool. which I work for. Uh, we have a band playing. Rock Bottom will be playing from 4 to 8. Around, across the street at Pearson, we'll have a kids' venue with a DJ, which is kids friendly, bounce houses, kids' activities. A lot of buzz going on in town. Right. Hope yeah. to bring a lot of people mm -hmm. in. Two busy weekends yeah. in right. Clinton. And then the big finale is at 9.05 p.m. at our Town Beach. Our fireworks go off. It'll be about a 25 minute show of wow. fireworks. One of the bigger shows that occurs on the shoreline. Wow. And the advantage to that is that we fire from the land. We have an area that we can do it, so we fire from the land. Mm -hmm. So the people who really are into the fireworks can be right up against underneath it. Wow. So you not only see the blast, see the light, hear the blast, yeah. but you feel that feel blast. It. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably smell it too, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, fireworks too. are next weekend. The race the is this weekend. And remember, all you have to do is go to wtnhcom slash billion steps to be part of the challenge. Be sure to let us know about your steps to a healthier life lifestyle on social media by using the hashtag Billion Steps CT. Still time to sign up. Ken, Jessica, Lisa, thank you so much. Enjoy the weekend. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, All right. Best of luck.